Okay, let's talk to a test fixture again. Uh, so this is that test, test fixture that I built, but I'm upgrading it. And uh, let me talk a little bit about why I'm upgrading it. Um, it has to do with the cables I was using. So <clears throat> the um, connections to the uh, to the meter are through triax connectors. So this is a this is a triax connector. Uh, it has a, a coax inside of a coax. So it has a, a center conductor and a, a coax connector, and then a coax connector around that. So it's shielded. It's a shielded shielded coax cable is what it is. So there's two shields and a, and a center conductor. And um, so you'd say, oh, great, that's what this wire is. No, this wire is not. This wire is what's called uh, uh, twin uh, Twin, tri twin, tri twin. I think. I think it's called tri twin. Um, and uh, there's cable that's tri ax. So what is the difference? So the way that these are built is that there's a shield on the outside, and then there's actually two conductors on the inside. Now these two conductors are very very nice. They look like they're in uh, Teflon uh, coated wire. And there's some additional strain relief in there, or maybe that's in there for to keep to, to reduce static electricity. As you bend these wires, you can get triboelectric effects. Two two plastics rubbing on each other can cause a charge, so you need to get rid of that. So that's what this is. So that's wired onto here. So there really is no double shield. There's only a single shield. And um, these cables, I think, came from the medical industry. Um, they have a funny other connector on the other side. And so that's what I had in here. And then I had this wire just uh, hardwired into here. And I really wanted to have a true, uh, a true triax. So uh, the guy who gave me this was uh, nice enough to save some, some cable. This is the cable that you want. This is what's called Belden uh, 9222. And this is official triax uh, cable. Now it's 50 ohms, so that center uh, coax is 50 ohms, and then there's a shield around that 50 ohm uh, coax wire. And so, uh, if you can really see it here, but there's a shield on the outside, and I peeled that back, and then you can just see the shield on the inside, and then there's a, a Teflon can, can, uh, Teflon insulator here, and then the, and, uh, uh, a uh, stranded internal conductor. So that's what that is. now. Uh, I do have this triax connector. I don't think it's for this type of cable. I think it's for a different type of cable. And I know that these are really, really, really hard to put on. Uh, but I go, okay, well, I just have to bite the bullet. I have to buy some connectors. I have the cable. I'll put two connectors on it. So I looked on um, uh, eBay and the connectors run about $25 a pair uh, uh, each. I'm sorry, not a pair each. So it'd be $50 for a pair. So $50 just to get the two connectors, and then I have to spend all the time putting this together. I've seen other people online building these things, and they are just a royal pain. So uh, what to do? Well, you can buy them. And so I looked at buying them, and, and a, 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 a put-together cable cost anywhere from $150 to $300. So <laughs> they're very, very expensive. So yeah, they're hard to put together. So I looked around and around and around, and there's some nice ones out there. And then I couldn't find any on eBay. I just, there wasn't any on eBay. Some guy had a bunch of build to uh, a 9222, and I uh, made him an offer that he didn't accept. And I'm glad he didn't accept it, because uh, now I don't want it. Um, but I was trying to get that, uh, get a bunch of this wire. This is kind of a short piece, so I was trying to get a long piece of it. He had three medium length pieces that I could get, but uh, he wouldn't take my offer. So. I kept looking around and I was on just regular Google and I was Googling around seeing these $300 cables and stuff and I ran across this one and I couldn't believe what it was saying. So I figured, okay, it must be some type of typo in the ad. Uh, this is a Pomona cable. It's made by Pomona um, and it is a Belden uh, 9222 cable and it's got, uh, I think, cinch, cinch, cinch connectors on it, the brand name Cinch. Um, anyway, these are, maybe they're brand name Pomona, maybe they make their own, but anyway, I believe this is cinch connectors. Um, so this is an official cable, right? And I think it's a two meter cable, something like that. Um, so it's already put together. So it is, it is the Triax. Now, um, uh, this was on the listing for $29. And 
there was no way that was true. There was just no way that was true. And uh, so I checked to see who it was being sold by, and it was being sold by Arrow. Now, if anybody has ever bought from Arrow, they are a mainstream supplier of hardcore stuff in the United States. I mean, they're the big powerhouse. Arrow is big. And they were selling it for $29. I figured, okay, well, there must be a typo. It must be just for the an end cap or uh, just something, right? So I looked at it again, and it said $29. And I went, mm -hmm. Anyway, so I ordered it. I ordered one of them from, uh, from Arrow, and this is what came. It's the real deal. <laughs> and I went, oh, my God, this is like... $140 cable, right? And so I went back maybe to buy another one and I noticed it said no longer any for sale. <laughs> and then it said that the unit price was $141. <laughs> so I think I, uh, I think I got the last cheap one. <laughs> so anyway, I got it for 29 bucks, just a screaming, screaming deal. So yeah, 29 bucks. I'm very, very happy with that. So now that I have a true Tri-X connector, uh, shielded on shielded, I wanted to upgrade my box and have a Tri-X input, okay? Now, I did have some stuff that I scrounged, oops, scrounged a long time ago. I had two of these, so these are panel mount uh, Tri-X connectors. And I figured, great, uh, I'll just uh, I'll put those on there and, and, and I'll be done. Um, now, let me tell you a dirty secret about Tri-X connectors. <laughs> and uh, this will get you in trouble. So some Tri-X connectors look like this one. It looks just like a BNC. There's two prongs, 180 degrees apart, and those two prongs, just like a BNC. You're all familiar with BNCs. It looks just like a BNC. Well, some Tri-X connectors look like, look like, look like this, where there are three prongs, three lugs, and they are 120 degrees apart. And they don't mat. They don't mate. You can't use one without the other. So now, on the back of the Keithley, it uses the two prong system, and I had a three prong uh, panel connector. So I just filed off two of the prongs, and I can I can just use one prong. So it works just fine. One prong works just fine. So I can use it either with the three, or I can use it with the two, and uh, either one goes on. The internals is just fine. It's just the outside prongs. Uh, to make sure that it doesn't fall off. That's the only thing this thing does on the outside. It doesn't do anything else. People say, oh, you got to put those on real tight. No, you don't. Uh, it just it just holds it on so it won't fall apart. Okay. Anyway. Um, so what else do I have going on here? Okay. So I had to file off two of the little nubs and now I have it working. And I had two of these. So I, I've already installed one in here. And uh, so now I have an official... Uh, Tri-X to Tri-X box, and uh, I can put that over on my uh, Keithley, and now I have the I have the real deal. I'm hoping I'm hoping these are a little bit quieter. Uh, these cables, if you move them around, they actually create noise in the system. So hopefully, you move this one around, it doesn't. But I haven't tried that out yet. I just got done just got done making this. Um, so the insides is real nice. Uh, I'll put a couple pictures up here um, while I'm talking um, of me. Uh, putting this together one of the one of the things that I had to work on is how do I how do I attach this uh, How to attach this connector? It's a thick wall. So I figure okay. I'll just thread this piece here and it's a really weird thread. It's like uh, uh, something weird like 7 16 and uh, 28 threads per inch. It's a really really weird thing So I ended up putting on the lathe and single point single point internal threading it um, so if anybody's done internal threading uh, in that small of a hole, 28 threads per inch, you'll know what I'm talking about. So that was that was fun. Um, but it turned out really great. I didn't I didn't miss. I, I hit the I hit the mark and uh, so now I have a I have a really nice box now. Um, so we can try that out. So my next experiment's gonna be with the with the capacitors. Uh, kind of look at the leakage of capacitors with this thing. Um, is that all I wanted to talk about? I think. Uh, the only other thing the only other thing was this weird little connector that uh, was uh, supplied with my Keithley as well. I've never seen one of these before. I don't know what it is. Um, it's Tri-X on the input, and this is the uh, three prong. But on the other side, it's Tri-X as well, but it looks like like SMA Tri-X. It's really weird. It's threaded on the outside, but there's a double shield, right? There's a shield on the outside, and then there's a little shield on the inside, and then a little, little thing there. It's pretty wild. Uh, it must be super, super. Talk about these things being expensive. These things must be super, super expensive. So, anyway, yeah. 
hanging on to that. I don't know what I don't know what that thing is. That's just that's just I can't imagine having to build a cable. I just don't know how they would do that. <laughs> it is super super tiny. Um, I do have another adapter. I just had it here. Uh, so this adapter goes from triax to BNC, and it just it shorts the two uh, grounds together. The internal shield and the outside shield are both shorted together, and then the center connector comes on the BNC. So. That's what this little adapter is here, just in case you need to run BNC and you're not worried about shielding. So that's a cool, that's a really cool adapter. That will come in handy. Um, like I could go on this box here and then I could just put a regular meter on here because it's just two connectors. So yeah, um, so that's pretty tight. All right. I like it.